every time you demolish a building, it's inevitable that a huge amount of it is going to end up as waste. If a house is built, and it's built substantially enough to be able to dismantle it, pull the various parts away, and then reuse it again, well, that sure as hell beats coming in and just trashing it. These floor panels even that you're standing on, this is also an off-the-shelf material, and it's structural plastic. Cellophane House fundamentally challenges ideas about what's permanent. These are all attached to the aluminum with double-stick tape. And when we take the house apart, we're going to pull them up. And these pieces can either be reassembled then as a house, this house or another house, somewhere else. Pretty much all the parts in this house are generic systems that you could actually put them on the open market and sell them in the same way that um, auto parts are sold, used auto parts. And uh, anybody who needs a large sheet of uh, structural plastic can buy it. Why don't we just carry on up and we'll... Uh, go all the way up onto the roof. You can see how the light emitting diodes on the edge of the plastic turns each of the treads into a light fixture. Come on out onto the fifth level of the house. When you turn around, there's a solar shade. I don't know if everybody noticed this. That's actually the best place to gather energy from the sun is on a roof. Could you take this, I mean, I, you know, I guess you could take the same idea and turn it into a building, right? Yeah, definitely. We think of this as a system that could be developed and deployed in lots of different ways for different uses, more than we think of it as a single house. You must get extremes, like people saying, oh, I could totally live here, or people saying, I could never live here. Yeah, some in the middle. I think a lot of people think it would be great for a few days, uh, but it certainly provoked a lot, of, um, a lot of conversation, for sure. Prefabrication means that I know in advance all the part sizes that I'm going to need. And if I am prefabricating, let's say, 500 homes, I can actually call my steel manufacturer or I can call my glass manufacturer and say, I need 15,000 of these parts exactly the same size, each one, so that whoever she is that does the manufacturing, they don't have to waste nearly as much. I wish you well and have very safe travels. Have a good day. Thank you. You too. My name is Rocio Romero, and I'm the designer and manufacturer of the LV Kit Home series. Flat packing means less gas, less emissions. Considering the energy costs are rising and everything seems to be incrementally more expensive, I think more and more designers will be asked by clients to make their home more efficient, more efficient from a design point of view, more efficient from an energy point of view. What I really love about the LV is the thoughtfulness in the design from start to finish. It's something that I'm very proud of and I think that it achieves a lot with very little. We've got to remind people in cities that we are still a part of nature and architecture has a huge potential to do that. Older cities are cut off from their waterfront because their waterfronts were working areas. They were the center of industry. And over the years, we've seen incredible efforts to change it. So in city after city in the US, we always are trying to reclaim these industrial waterfronts. Pretty amazing down here, huh? The question that Seattle asked is one that many cities are asking, which is how do we reclaim our waterfronts? I think as we talk to other communities that want to replicate this, we need to kind of hear from you guys in terms of what's working, not working. This is the first place where you can actually put your feet in the water, and it's the first place in Seattle where there's a restored beach. We're seeing some more animal life here along these different habitat features. One of the unique features of the site is just getting the public involved. You know, you come down here and see some great art, and when you make it down to the beach, you're really connected to Puget Sound, and that's difficult to do in an urban setting, and I think it's been really successful regarding that. Well, this park is connected both to ecology and to the urban environment, so it's good, you know. People aren't used to seeing us dress like this either <laughs> in a downtown city, <laughs> so Might start a new people trip. ask questions, you know. Yeah, they are yeah, curious yeah. what's going yeah. on, and I think that's a learning process for everyone. Yeah.